Welcome to a marketing enabler. A few tips to help you do better. This particular one is really for people who are doing the work. If you are trying all the tips, all the strategies, all the types of content, the different ways of using your copywriting to engage, to attract, to build and nurture your audience. You will be interested in pushing out the envelope and hopefully curious about doing better and better. After all, that is what Content Kaizen is all about, constant improvement. If you have not done the omni-channel short training, I really recommend you go there because it explains to you how to distribute your content across various marketing channels and why it's important. If you are anyway creating the content, you are wasting an opportunity, leaving money on the table if you are not distributing that content across the platforms where your audience might be. The days of just being on one platform that you love, that you want to be on, is not your best approach. You need to be on many channels. In that short training, I've shown you how easy it is to repurpose your content across the channels. And Facebook groups. I highly recommend you start a Facebook group to nurture your audience. You know, it fits in between people who are just seeing your content and not necessarily engaging, and people who are starting to know, like, and trust you, but they're not ready to take the next step. That group is a wonderful place to build that community until they are ready to come inside by signing up for your list or signing up for a course, a purchase, buying from you, whatever your marketing objective might be. The Facebook groups have many, many tools that help you engage better than your newsfeed and help your content get seen by the members in your group. Think about why the gurus use Facebook groups to build their audience during a campaign for support for customer service because they work. Go and set up your Facebook group. There is a short tutorial on getting started. Go and do it. It costs you nothing but a bit of time. Trending and pop culture is another short tutorial in Content Marketing Kaizen that teaches you the value of why you need to be current, be interested in what's going on around you and the topics that might be engaging your audience. Those are topics that attract attention and encourage conversations. Go and learn how to do that. Today is a bit of an update on things that are happening, things I would like you to know about. You know in the content plan that I have embraced ChatGPT and I'm constantly tweaking how to give Chatty better prompts, better instructions and how to use it to really help me with my marketing and help me to create better tips, tools and things for you to save you time. I am going to share a link to a video that was produced by Social Media Examiner who I follow closely and are generous with social media marketing tips. I'm not suggesting you go and follow them because I do and I bring to you whatever you need to know. But there is one point in a recent video they shared that makes the point about how you need to embrace AI now ahead of the curve to really become unique. If you embrace AI to do your job better and think of genius ways you can do that, you are likely to create a new service for yourself. Just like many new jobs were created by social media when it first started, 
AI is going to do the same. I want to play you just a short clip from that video that hopefully entices you to go and watch the whole video. I'm here to hypothesize that the world is going to need people, maybe like us, to teach and train them on AI. Because us marketers, we're early, but the rest of the world is not. There's going to be a need for people to consult and strategize on applications for AI inside of business. There's going to be brand new applications, software products, and companies and ideas that are going to be built on the infrastructure that AI is building right now. And as a result of that, there's going to quite literally be brand new businesses born that did not exist before. And some of these businesses may turn out to be so much bigger than all the businesses that are the big businesses we think about today. And guess what? These small businesses in the beginning, they're all going to need to help figure out how to get these products to market. And they're going to need support. And the truth of the matter is that you're going to want to be ahead of these trends because there's going to be more demand than there was supply. And I'm here to tell you, I remember what it was like when social media was popular. People could not hire social community managers fast enough. There just was not enough demand. The supply was simply insatiable. So with that little clip in mind, there's a whole lot of other really good stuff. What I'm trying to say to you is you don't have to become a marketer, but think about how you can leverage AI to become better at what you do. And when you think out the box, is there a way you can become an AI expert to your clients, create new clients, provide a service that people are not aware of, maybe don't know that they need. By embracing AI and practicing what I show you and using the tips and getting more and more familiar and actually realizing the value of how AI helps you get smarter, get better, do more work in less time. I hope that was an interesting lesson for you. Another clip that came from that video was people's concerns about accuracy. You need to check, and there is a disclaimer, for example, at the bottom of the chat GPT prompt that says, sometimes chat makes a mistake. So don't just regurgitate everything that chatty gives you. You need to read it. You need to apply your intelligence. You need to analyze and make sure the details are accurate. And many companies that deal with IP are concerned about copyright. The big thing with chat GPT and with AI is to think about it like a spell checker. If you are using a spell checker to review your work and to check that it is correct, how different is AI from that? Maybe getting that concept in your mind will help you, but watching the video will explain that further. And one big caveat and very important point to be careful with is do not upload anything that contravenes privacy, poppy, GDPR, personal data. Also, anything that is your company's IP that you do not want to share publicly, do not want to give people access to. Do not upload it because it does go into the public domain. Make sure you understand the risks involved and comply for your own cybersecurity. I have found a image creation AI called Leonardo. The whole platform runs with the free version on tokens which restock every day. 
So for a small content creator, it has enough tokens really for you to produce quite a few generations of images. And I have shared a link for you to watch. Then the next tip I have for you today is YouTube has a new feature alert. Now, when you remix a video into a short, that next Instagram updates for you. Instagram is going from 10 to 20 slides in carousel posts. This emphasis not only gives you more capability to produce more content, but doesn't it tell you that carousels are important content for Instagram? If you are not creating carousels, get on board. In our content planner type of posts, you will be prompted to do carousels and vary the number of carousels from anything from five up to 20 to get you used to creating more carousels for a post. And it's very interesting to note that they are eligible to appear as reels. So put music to them, use that opportunity for them to be in the reels tab. Again, more discovery. These are all things that are being tested by Instagram. Play along, you will be rewarded with more awareness and more reach. Your app on your phone, where you are encouraged to create your Instagram content, and then make sure it is linked to your Facebook page and to threads, so it automatically shares, or you can share to whichever of those platforms from the share icon. But you can upload images, graphics, videos, and do text overlays on your posts now from the app, much like you do with stories, you can now do on a post. I will urge you to experiment with this in the content plan, but you need to be aware when you are sitting playing with Instagram, look for those additional tools. Posts now have a poll element to them. Just take a look when you create a post below the post if it says create a poll then you can add a poll to your post, pin it to the top of your profile for added engagement and quickly drawing people in with interactive content right at the top of your profile. In addition, you can now add a product tag. It doesn't have to be linked to a catalog, an online shop. You can just give a product tag with a name and a price and then put a link in your bio or in the sticker when you share it to stories to go and purchase. So there's a wonderful way to increase engagement with a product tag and take people on a customer journey. Remember the QR code you can get by tapping on share profile. And if you haven't got it, make sure you've updated the app or go to your Play Store and update your app. Copy that QR code and try sharing it to your WhatsApp update. A wonderful way to omni-channel marketing, connect your WhatsApp with your Instagram and easy for people to connect. And now live streaming. We talk plenty about encouraging you to do your live streaming. You can now live stream to Instagram from your desktop. Search for Instagram Live Studio, I will also urge you in the content plan to try that as part of your live streaming exercise. All these things, live streaming, carousels, reels, are those not all the type of content I urge you to do? If the platforms are promoting those, enhancing them, improving them, does that not mean it's the way to go? So folks, push out the envelope, vary those posts, follow your tips on the content plan. 
broadcast channels, lots of capability for them. I'd be very interested to know who's got more than 10,000 followers because you've got a lot of tags, ways to enhance those broadcast channels to ask people to follow your broadcast channel, etc. Anybody needs specific training on broadcast channels, please post it in the Facebook group, start a conversation and ask more. One other very interesting highlight for Instagram is collaborative posts. This feature allows collaborators to work with other people. And why is that important? Because it leverages both audiences. Try collaborating with each other, with somebody who's got complementary product services to you, but serving a similar audience that you would love to reach. The two of you can leverage off each other by doing collaborative posts. It is the collaborators feature. Instagram threads becoming more and more important and integrated with Instagram. Use it. Many people I follow are still not sure about how threads fits in, but it is an X type platform best for short form conversational content. Think about sharing your stuff there. It really is very easy. Just quickly look at my screenshots here. Going to the little paper aeroplane, the sharing aeroplane, you then get your share button. Click on the share button. It gives you all the options of where to share to. And you can share to threads and X at the same time. So those caption posts, text only posts must be shared for omni-channel marketing. And then I created a post which I think was very helpful to help you get the first two top lines of your post irresistible, to get people to want to stop scrolling and read the rest. My tips are, first of all, know your audience. Identify their specific needs and interests and talk into them. Be specific. For example, if you're talking about great deals on shoes, talk into a niche. Comfortable, stylish shoes for busy moms. That talks directly into a niche. You do not want to spray and pray. I know many of you are terrified of going right into a niche, but trust me, it is going to get your content seen. Those people who are interested in that topic will lean in and listen. Niche marketing is really important to getting seen, heard and understood. Use strong words like discover, unlock, transform, boost. Ask ChatGPT to find words for you, but avoid using the common ones. There are many words in the English language. You don't have to keep reusing the words that are already out there. Fourth point, address pain points. Be clear about the problem you are solving. What are they suffering with? Eliminate back pain with X. What is the pain? Show the benefits. Highlight the benefit or the outcome of what they get when they engage with you. So achieve a glowing skin within seven days. They can visualize that. Create a sense of urgency when you make offers. Get people to jump off the fence. Limiters, time, limited availability, those kind of things are not sleazy or not salesy. They are helping that one in your audience who is sitting on the fence decide if they are in or out. You are actually being helpful to urge them to make a positive decision. Numbers and lists are very good way of getting your headline seen. Five ways. I was listening to 
a tutorial by Jim Quick, the master of memory. And he said anything from five to nine can be memorable. And for some reason, odd numbers work. So that's why we so often see five ways, seven tips, nine things. Those are your magic numbers to get people to pay attention and to remember your content. Ask questions at the top of your post. Call out your ideal customer with a pain point and ask a question. Tired of endless paperwork? Frustrated by social media content that is not engaging? And then include keywords. This helps your SEO and ensures your headline are seen by the right people. The algorithm is looking for keywords. What is your audience searching for? Type some search terms into Google and see what the other suggestions are. Those suggestions are what people are searching for. Use those words in your headlines. And then, of course, the biggest point is use this list of tips. Practice them. See which ones work. Tweak those that aren't working. Keep using the ones that are working. Remember, a great headline is your first impression. Make it count. I hope you've enjoyed this month's content plan, that you are finding the niche plan is helpful. I look forward to seeing you in Content Marketing Kaizen. And please, any questions, any examples you want advice on, remember our community in the Content Marketing Kaizen group. That is your forum, your network, safe place to test your content, to ask questions, to get input. Have a great content creation week. Thank you for your time.